Hello and howdy folks welcome back or oh, welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you how you can detail in these dead areas and make your city look more lively so this is a new city but it is situated in owls uskumbru bay map and today i'm going to show you how you can detail parts of your city that feel empty or boring and make them look this good so without further ado let's so this is the city that we built in the last episode and you can see we have got quite a lot of open spaces some are there in the industries as well and then the sides over here or uh, mainly i think we have got this one like this corner if you come over here this feels so boring whereas if you look um, right at the entrance over here these sorts of detailing uh, make it look quite good and uh, they fill up the empty space and they have some things going this is the mostly what we're going to do uh, in this episode detail bits here and there and uh, demolish some things and uh, make some areas look even better first of all we'll come to the most boring area and that is over here let's come over here into vegetation and delete all these trees and you can see we have cleared this out and this is the space that we are working and since this is basically right behind the um, the houses over here i don't want to directly um you know add maybe like uh, this over here like this pathway system i want to give them a little bit of space so for that uh, we'll come to over here and net lanes and fences i think this one yeah i think i like this one so we'll use this one and i think uh, we are going to start from here and end it right there and this way we have got uh, some sort of uh, boundary wall for this area and we can do possibly the same with over here so it, it's going to be a nice boundary wall and then we can come over here with our surfaces i think sometimes the forestry one really shines so let's see yeah i think this looks much better on uh, chameleon's grass texture over here this pops out quite a quite a lot and actually looks like a dirt texture so i think we are going to use this so let's set it up uh, nicely and let's work on this um, park or green belt over here and just like that we have placed this texture and you can look and see this actually looks like a grass or uh, mud texture or ground texture and then over here in the house area we have got like uh, this sort of properly maintained grass lawn over here and whereas this is you know your usual park area so now that we have got this we can set up some fence so i think i'm gonna use the residential fence i think this acts as a pretty good park fence and as you can see we have fenced it properly and we have uh, made some open areas and uh, since it's a net lane so i think uh, we can't run from different colored fences and i guess that's just the reality but we have made a few entrance over here so this road has two entrance one is two is on that road so one is over here and one is over there and then we have one over here right in the middle i think now it's best to lay out the tracks of uh, where people will be walking here and there so let's make the pathways and i'll be right back So 
as you can see we have set up some very basic pathway here and there after this i think we can work on placing some bush lining across uh, this whole pathway because having just a fence is going to be a little boring but if we have some sort of bush lining at and tree lining just like uh, i guess we did over here i think that will look really good as you can see it looks quite good over here so let's do that So as you can see, we have placed this sort of bush lining or tree lining over here. Uh, this I think is a bit chaotic over here, but yeah, I think this looks so much better than before. And you can actually see now even the fence over here looks quite good. It doesn't look barren. We can uh, do the same over here as well on the opposite side. But now you got more privacy for the homes. So even if you are over here, you get you still get like a, a little bit of a view over here. And, you know, even if you are over here, you're getting over there. Um, I think now we can really push this forward and have some sort of play area or playgrounds here and there or maybe some outdoor commercial so some food carts and those types of things so let's decorate this uh, with these things and i'll catch you guys in a minute And would you look at that we have finished our park over here and you can see this looks so much better right now so as you enter you have got a park sign and on the right you have a fountain over here and then as you are moving you've got a sort of a shopping area uh, you've got food stalls and then some fruits some vending machines and you've got some nice sitting area over here with this shed and on the right you have some sitting area over here with some fireplace and over here comes our second connection and then over here on the left and the right we have some spaces over here so on the left we have some play area for children and on the right we have some more of a chill area for adults with some hot tub and sunbathing and some barbecue and a lot of chairs to sit and relax under the shade and then as we move on through this quite dense area <laughs> uh, i think these two trees are quite close but uh, 
as you're moving through over here you come for the third connection and on this side we have got all sorts of shopping area so all the food stalls and then chairs and all to sit and just have a nice time and as you're moving you've got a quite cool row of um, gazebos and some book stand so you can you know grab a book and uh, sit over there and read so that's quite good and then we have got this sort of rock feature over here and uh, as you're moving you've got another rock feature and another connection and again we have some space to chill out and uh, you know just uh, have a nice time and as you are moving through over here you got the last connection and this is our little corner which we build um, in an hour <laughs> this uh, this took uh, quite a lot of time this has filled the space and make it more much more lively than before one more thing uh, we haven't uh, like uh, messed up messed with and that will be these spaces and areas and i want to see how you can uh, make it even better and we are going to be making some spaces over here so that we can see some people hanging out over here so we're going to make over there and we can see if uh, these spaces do get people and uh, you know them hanging around near these areas so we'll check that so this was one of the spaces and we have got this space over here and then i guess uh, we have got a few spaces over here as well and we have got our high school so the rest of the spaces are mostly going to be sort of similar but not similar in the same way because we will be uh, doing like different stuff we will not be just you know copy pasting everything that we did over here to all other places so we will be doing some different kinds of detailing but let us come to over here to this high school and let me and uh, dezone these guys and also delete them and with this we have got this space over here for our high school and this high school is something you know it's quite good and you know for a city this small or uh, this size i think this high school fits it perfectly and i think we can do quite a lot with this actually we can have a some sort of a plaza behind it so let's extend these um, some of these surfaces and let's start drilling the high school And would you look at that with just small changes here and there we have made this look so much better than before we placed one parking lot over here a little one then the new ring park that came along with the detailers patch number one and this small bike stand or motorcycle parking lot that also came with detailers patch number one and i think i like this grass better so i think i'm going to replace that uh, over here as well but uh, you know we here it is uh, some sort of like a back area for our high school so let's work on this plaza and i'll be right back
And just like that, we have uh, finished this high school area and you can see this looks so, so much beautiful than before. And this is basically a proper plaza behind a high school. So let's start from over here, from our little tennis court. And you can see we have placed the tennis court decal and the fence and we have got all the necessary props for it and right beside it we have some sitting area and a shop over here and i think this is a vending machine so if you want to chill out then you can just uh, grab a vending machine or a food and enjoy the tennis match and all these are covered as well and then on the left side we have another food stall and some outdoor stall over here and then again it is covered and then we here's our park that uh, the ring park that we placed earlier and then over here we have some book stalls so if you want to read some books uh, because this one doesn't have any library so maybe we can assume we have a internal library but if you want to read outside we can read outside over here and you know it's a pretty cool space over here and then we made a stage area over here and then again some seating area and behind it we have this parking which we shifted from over here till here and then for this space over here we just placed our prop vehicles over here and then a bus over here in a color of yellow because i mean school bus you know i think this uh, is a good addition over here and then we fenced around uh, the whole place with the a low hedge and i think this place looks so much better and when we'll be hitting play i think this will um, you know really come uh, like lively because we have placed quite a lot of networks here and there so people will be walking here and there so that will look really cool with this we have finished our second area for today's video and i think um this will be like uh, these two are like the most like uh, major detailing that we had to do and the rest uh, for example like over here i think uh, we can you know place a nice parking lot over here or maybe like a small one and maybe areas like over here where we don't have anything maybe at least it seems like so what we can do is come to these parking lot gates and have a parking lot booth maybe facing this direction and maybe one over here just in case and have a this parking lot gate over here and over here to say really that this is a, a like this whole district is basically a gated community um, we can call that uh, to this like free form district over here and with this i also remember our beautiful and uh, generous viewer j webers have suggested a really cool idea for our city name and they have suggested that we we should name our city on the name of this river so i don't believe that uh, we have a name of a river but for the name of the river i think uh, we will be going with benton river benton benton not your uh, benton cartoon benton river and with that our city slash county will be known as benton county and i think this name suits really well 
with uh, what we have and what we are planning for the future wink wink but uh, <laughs> uh, i think this name suits really well and with that we have also got two other names both of them were for our city but i think uh, the first one uh, i'm going to go for a district so we will be making a district and i think i want this district to be named after that so we are going to come over here then over there and its name will be lower peak and i think uh, this name suits quite well uh, over here because uh, you know it's going to be quite a lot of uh, quite a challenging terrain over here to build on and uh, we'll be doing quite a lot of um, you know different height variations here and there uh, because even like for our farms we have got like really nice rolling terrain so i think that that will be like really cool and then the second name uh, will come over here and for our park and i think this name suits a little better for a like a park or some sort so we'll come over here and this will be called dog run park and uh, i think uh, it's it's a quite wild name but i think this suits quite well with a sort of a park or some you know recreational area some sort so these were the three names we have finally a name for our county our city and then we have a name for this massive upcoming district and we still need uh, some sort of a name for this massive district that we have built so comment down below what do you think let's come to uh, this whole industrial area and i think i'm really like uh, like how the sort of green greenery or green belt is going on with some sort of like offices and commercial uh, over here so i don't think i'm going to disturb it that much but it's going to be quite noisy like even if we look over here yeah you can see like how noisy it is over here and i don't think this will be a pleasant walk or a chill out area so maybe i think this will become our commercial street and then a little bit of greenery here and there so that's saved and uh, i think i also want a fence over here so i think this industrial fence that we have over there i think i'm going to include that over here so we are going to be running from here till here and then and we have done all sorts of detailing that we could and let me walk through what uh, else i did in the background so after completing this and uh, after deciding that we are going to make this a commercial and office street i went over here and uh, we placed uh, these hedges all throughout the property so it wraps around this road and then it wraps right at the end of the riverside or mountainside homes and at the back as well and then loops around till here and for these individual streets that goes in we have a sort of a security entrance over here and one over here and then some over here and then we zoned a few blocks here over and we made security entrance for these roads as well because uh, we established that uh, this is some sort of a gated community so for that we also placed this fence which covers and we left some space over here so we can place some commercial and offices in future so you can see we have left some space and uh, push back the fencing a little bit and then for this little space over here we removed the trees and we placed these housing and then we placed 
this sort of um, bush and tree detailing that we did for these farms over here and this was the detailing 101 or detailing guide that i planned uh, for you guys uh, that uh, you can use to detail these boring areas if you have like an awkward space like this that we had like a quite big place over here so we fenced around the houses and then we fenced in this park and uh, made this some sort of a layout over here and after that we saw the detailing for this high school so previously we had houses over here and it was quite simple plain and boring and now you can see it looks so much better so this is how you can detail your city detail these corners these ugly corners that gets left behind and uh, you know you don't know what to detail or how to detail so now you know how to detail these things and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something and if you did then please hit like and subscribe and turn on notification so you guys know when the new video drops and i'll catch you guys in the next one till then enjoy the cinematics and peace